Welcome back to Puno Crossover, Filipinos talking basketball. Let's go, let's dive into it. Let's talk about the injuries that just happened. Lonzo and Ali Deep. Let's start with Lonzo. Any, any thoughts about Lonzo's injury? Uh, it came at a good time because LeBron's coming in soon in, uh, in Rondo, so it kind of helps. But then uh, it goes to show how much of a struggle it is to really for, for the Lakers to come back and see if they can make the playoffs because right after one injury, they're having another one. They can never have you know, a healthy team to really figure things out together because a lot of, these, uh, a lot of the t- uh, players at the Lakers are young and inexperienced and they need this, and this time to play together and get to know each other because LeBron just came in and getting them all together accustomed to the, the way they should play and then they have a couple of one-year players like Rondo, McGee and Lance Stevenson just getting and Beasley they're mm-hmm. all getting accustomed trying to find their roles so if they're not getting healthy it's going to be tough for them mm-hmm. Do you uh, guys agree with the I mean they, they found they found a way to play together with Lonzo and LeBron James when they changed from the starting lineup between Rajon Rondo and uh, Lonzo Ball so you know, LeBron James being injured and then Lonzo Ball taking, trying to take over, it was a little bit working out for them, but they were losing games here and there. But it is that one like side effect where like they did lose Lonzo uh, just recently, and but now they, they're going to get LeBron James back. But can LeBron James still carry the team, a young team, to the playoffs, basically, in a t- mm-hmm. stacked Western Conference with so many injuries in, in the way? But at least... You know, All Star break is coming up, so they do have some rest here and there, and maybe build up some chemistry again with the, uh, with the practice coming up. But Lonzo Ball, technically, I say the franchise player for the Lakers, uh, franchise changing player, um, it is a huge loss to them because they're gonna you know lose some chemistry here and there. So mm-hmm. it is it's gonna see. We'll, we'll have to see what happens with you know LeBron just coming back and trying to take over. Mm-hmm. James, any thoughts with Lonzo's injury? Well, like he said, it's perfect timing because Rondo is coming back Friday, right? Mm-hmm. And then I just, but the thing is, they can't afford another injury because oh, they yeah. keep going back and forth with injuries, especially LeBron is out. But uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. With uh, they're number ni- like nine right now, right? Mm-hmm. They're ninth, mm-hmm. so they can't afford any more injuries. And they the can't team, because they need to figure out who to trade. Yeah. <laughs> <That's the thing. laughs> they need to figure out. Oh, this one works yeah. for LeBron. This one does yeah. not. Okay, let's trade that person. Yeah. So yeah. Exactly. they need to figure out because yeah. they can't. They can't go anywhere far with the kind of players that they have because yeah. LeBron needs shooters and and defenders. And right yeah. now, it's one or the other. Like. Lonzo can defend, but he's not really consistent with the shooting, mm-hmm. and he can't really play without the ball. Yeah. Kuzma is a good player, but then he can't play on the other side of the yeah. court. Brandon Ingram, they still haven't figured out what his role really is. Yeah. Is he the second scorer? But then he can't figure out his shot. Is he a scorer with you know off the dribble? Is he a post-up player? Is he off the yeah. shoot? So he, they don't have anybody that really fits LeBron's yeah. style of play in terms of what worked yeah. for him. Yeah. As a basketball player, it kills so the they, chemistry. Like, it, it, it does. Just, yeah. mm-hmm. just injuries. Just like kills the only chemistry. person that I think that's work that per- fits perfectly to what LeBron plays is Josh Hart because he can yeah. play with. He doesn't need the ball in his hand. He's a great defender, yeah. and and he plays off um, uh, off of that shooting and then off of the um, pass break. And JaVale McGee, which is a really good fit for LeBron, too. Yeah. But everybody else is open for trade. That's why yeah. they need to figure that. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the next injury that just recently happened, and. Mm-hmm. It's not our fault. Toronto <laughs> Raptors' fault. I'm hoping. It just happened. It just that, happened. Uh, the game right? was against the Raptors. Yes. Yeah. So Oladipo. So that's James. Let's go with that. What do you think about Oladipo's injury, and what does that mean for his team? To be honest, I thought he was he was gonna start as mm. a starter in the All Star, but now like he got hurt and out for the season, like because of a torn, um, no, the ruptured, ruptured yeah. uh, quad Patel, tendon. Yeah, so yeah. for we'll see. I think Ty- Tyreek Evans need to step up for. For the Pacers, but I'm, I'm just surprised Siakam didn't get hurt. Did you, mm-hmm. you guys see when the yeah. other people got hurt scary. in the yeah. way he, f- he fell, um, Siakam? So mm-hmm. I was surprised of him not getting injured and stuff like that. But Oladipo is a great loss for the yeah. Pacers. But Nate McMillan is a good coach, so he'll find a way. So, mm-hmm. do you think Indiana can keep can stay where they are, or do you think it's going to be a big loss to their system uh, to keep on their seed? I guess I say they should just leave it up. Well. Mm-hmm. For them, it's it's they made the playoffs last year, and and they're hoping that because Oladipo had a really great season last year, yeah. he was most improved player. So the goal was to move in ahead and see if they can far into. So for me, I think they should just go for the lottery yeah. <laughs> because without Oladipo, none of them can really. I don't yeah. think they can go far ahead. They need a star, and mm-hmm. Oladipo was a star. And if he's not even going to make it until next year, yeah. I'd say just you know 
it's not. You're saying tank. No, you're, I say saying tank? just go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just tank. They need some good tank. I don't know. I don't know about tank. Picks, I don't know yeah. tank right now because they still have a chance. They're only they third. Have a young team, they're in the so. third spot in the Eastern Conference. But what's the point? You're gonna have to. East, you're East. gonna go through against Boston. You're gonna have Sixers who have. But you never know. Stars. It could That's be the not. same situation with uh, with the Boston Celtics last year when Kyrie Irving, Gordon Hayward out. They could have people that step out like Darren Collison, Boban. Uh, but all these guys, you know, they're veterans. Yeah, like you never, you, you know what you're gonna get from them. Whereas Boston last year, you didn't know what you were gonna get from Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, which and Terry Rozier. These are young guys that were yeah. unproven. Mm-hmm. Whereas all these guys in 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 um, mm-hmm. Indiana, the only guy really they have is is Miles Turner, who's he's a pretty good player, but mm-hmm. he's not a go-to player that you can go. It's a, it's a, bo- yeah, it's so, a bonus. Is I, I believe I believe in Indiana. They could still yeah. have that great. They, they have good bo- uh, ball up, movement. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're really good at like passing the ball. Around and stuff like that, but we'll see. We'll see how. how like, say, say the playoffs. They start won't pass today. Sec, like first round if they make this, the playoffs. This is what yeah. I'm saying. It's yeah. like but like, say the playoffs they started. They they face Brooklyn. And Brooklyn is still on the rise, but they yeah. still, they could easily beat Brooklyn. Yeah. I believe mm-hmm. in, in yeah. my spirit. But like, you but know, you think it's gonna stay on third? I think. You think no, no, they're definitely gonna drop down a bit. Definitely gonna drop. There's the change. There's a nice drop. I still believe. I still believe they could make a playoffs. This draft class is nice. This yeah, year, if really, I was Indiana, yeah. I need okay. something to pair Victor Oladipo. I think he's gonna Which go is, there. you know, but like tanking, be, but tanking but just, just so drastic. Three, yeah. You know what I mean? But Lottery. It's picks. not like they have to try to tank. They lost Oladipo, yeah. so well, they're just, basically what you're trying to say like yeah. tanking. I don't, can't I don't wait. Want it's getting tank. quite heated. Let's move on to the next. <laughs> let's move on to the next topic. You're talking about like you you mentioned like they're unproven. Like yeah. unproven was with Boston and proven as in you knew what you got. But let's talk about the All Star. Yeah. Proven picks. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that really surprised you with the starters? The starters just came out. If um, any thoughts about the starters? I think when Mike Mark brought it up before the show, Kemba Walker mm-hmm. starting for his starting for the squad behind Kyrie Irving or with Kyrie Irving and starting for a team that or for for a All Star game that's in Charlotte in his hometown hometown team. So a great honor for him, his team, and for all of them to play together. And Kemba Walker's been playing well uh, yeah, yeah. in a, in the under. You know, still Charlotte, yeah, Charlotte Hornets team is still in the playoffs. Under, that's, under that, yeah. the, that's why I'm like, it's a yeah. great. But uh, but Kim Walker, yeah, it's a it's a great pickup. You know, yeah. congrats to him that he's he's gonna make it. He's gonna ball out in the All Star game. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be very exciting mm-hmm. to see him play potentially mm-hmm. with whoever whoever LeBron James or Giannis picks on the, on this team. <laughs> yeah. yeah, James, any anything that uh, stood out for, for me? Starters? Paul George. Yeah, mm-hmm. I thought Anthony Davis was gonna start. Yeah, around, but Paul George well. was going like yeah. he was. He's on. On the mission this year, so like mm-hmm. to even like be over Westbrook, so that's kind of like surprising to me that Paul George is starting over. Well, Anthony, because the Anthony Davis uh, Pelicans is not really doing well that much. I think yeah. that's the reason why he's not a starter. Mm-hmm. But Paul George being a starter in the West. Yeah. And are you anything that uh, that you saw from the starters? Yeah. As much as I'm a big Warriors fan, I like that there's two of them that made it. Mm-hmm. But I really think that one of the I think Curry is for sure just because. I'm biased with Curry, <laughs> but <laughs> there's two. But yeah, I think, yeah, the but I, up think here. I think yeah, I, I need I need to give some love for to Jokic because I think Jokic yeah. should have been an All Star starter. Yeah, mm-hmm. right, yeah. He's not getting. He's so good, and and the fact that Denver is playing so well, yeah. they're at the top of the of the West, yeah. Yeah. and they're not. They don't have a starter All Star. That does not make sense to me. So I you would take out Durant. I would take out Durant. Just Ooh, okay. it sucks. That's yeah. hard too. But then I can't. Like, I would have yeah. taken out LeBron, but then like. Yeah. Maybe take out LeBron. Actually. I'll take. I'll take out LeBron. I'll take out LeBron. <laughs> take out LeBron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because I like the Warriors. You don't even know he's gonna. Yeah. Is he gonna make the All Star? Because he has yeah. the most vote. We can't. Yeah. They can't deny. You know. All right. 